Hey everybody, welcome to Press Pause, the video game discussion show. I'm Carl Sardella. I'm Shu. And we're going to talk about uh, two things. One, I'm going to mention some PS Vita games that I played at an event uh, a little while ago. Never got to talk about them. We're going to tell you what I thought, some of the games. And also we're going to talk about games that we're excited about, or that are soon to come out for Christmas. They haven't been released yet, and that we'd like for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? That's a long way of saying it. Yeah, yeah. So basically, there's a few games that haven't come out yet, and which ones of those would we like to have under our tree? That's what we do. So first, let's talk about PS Vita for a second. You don't have you played any, by the way? Uh, yeah, I played a bunch of games at E3. I played E3. that uh, Jonathan Mark game. Uh, yeah, but what did you think of the experience? I mean, it was it was pretty good? Yeah, I, I I mean, I think it's a really cool piece of technology. Yeah, it's the the only the biggest problem for me is that it's just. I, I can't see myself wanting to use it. Like I, since <laughs> I think it's great, but I can't see actually wanting to use it ever because because of the iPhone and because of like smartphones now are so good at gaming. Uh, they're so easy to get games on, and they've established themselves. Like I, I don't touch the DS that often anymore. I rarely touch the PSP, uh, and it's like there's cool things going on with the PS Vita. You definitely, mm -hmm. you know, like Uncharted looks really awesome. And some GPS and location yeah, stuff. It's really cool, but I'm like, how often am I going to really break that out and turn it on? You know, well, at this point, because I'm just like, I like my iPhone. I really I'll like play Devil's Advocate for it and say that it, I mean, it has controller. It has the real tactical, you know, yeah. feel. Do game. analog sticks that. That's awesome. And you know, and yeah. you can't get that on, a, on your smartphone. I mean, believe me, I tried. The only time it kind of worked is on my phone. Uh, I played Harvest, which was a good game, and they kind of did a virtual analog. But it's game to game, you know. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the pro for it. But the con, along with with you, is um, I had a PSP. I had many PSPs actually. One that I you know uh, did homebrew on or whatever and stuff like that. I had many versions of them, and I. Same thing. I was like, there's so many cool things. I can watch a movie, and I, I'm on the you know plane or whatever. I watch something. I can play games. The games are really cool, and I just kept leaving it at home. Yeah. I didn't know why. We had this discussion, I think, at some point. Like, the on they talked paper about it on a mobcast actually. Yeah, well, that's what it was. The, on paper, it just yeah. I should be using this all the time, and I don't. See, see the thing is, I, I agree with you. I hate virtual analog nub, nubs, but the. I, I like that about the PS Vita, but the games, like Uncharted, for example, looks right. really cool. It's going to be great with two sticks, but I'd rather play a full-size, full-on console. Yeah. If I'm going to play Uncharted, I might as well play a big version. If I'm going to play handheld games, I want them to be Different. more specific yeah, yeah. to that market. Like a Nintendo. Like, or like a lot of things you play on the iPhone, yeah. right? So. Well, let's say, let, me, let me show you a couple of the games that I saw at this event, uh, which uh, Sony put on. Um, Escape Plan was unbelievably probably the, 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 the coolest thing I saw there, uh, made by Fun Bits Interactive. And it's a dark, kind of noir, black and white kind of game, side scroller puzzle game, uh, with again, you're touching everything to make the little guys move and, and interact with the background and stuff. And it's very similar to Limbo in that kind of dark feel. It's almost got a David Lynch quality to it, you know, kind of really interesting. Um, and the characters are really stylized. And you can interact with the background to solve puzzles, and these guys kind of walk by. It reminds me of Lem Lemmings, kind of mixed with Limbo. Kind of uh, one of my together. writers also mentioned uh, Oddworld. Yeah, Oddworld, yeah. definitely, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you're definitely you know, bringing guys along mm -hmm. you know, and helping they don't die in some way, or trying to kill certain characters in certain ways. Um, so it's just beautifully done, the sound design and just the, the feel and look of it. And so that's a, just a really good game. It is not really, I mean, there's definitely the back touch stuff and the front touch stuff. And that was just okay, and I wasn't like blown away by like it was still just pushing somewhere on the on the screen, you know, for mm -hmm. me. But it was more about like, is it a good game? And yeah, I think they made a really cool and funny game. So that one stood out because of the again the software, the, the game itself. Um, and then Ruin stood out because if they get it right, if they get it right, it could be amazing because it's um it's a dungeon crawler. It's kind of like a, an Evany if you played those games where like or a lot of the Zynga games even where you kind of everybody can attack your place and you kind of build up this little fortress kind of thing. So it's got that kind of, I won't say MMO, but online you know, capabilities. Uh, so you are building up this place, but you're also going and doing your own dungeon crawling and leveling up your own guy so that you can build up your place more and other people can attack it. So it's got a lot of things going on. Yeah. But what's also cool is that when you build this stuff up, you go these kind of uh, extra, like they're called uh, trophies and stuff, it builds a dungeon for you. So like I've done this really cool thing, I've leveled my guy, and now I have this really cool dungeon that just they kind of created for me, and then now you got to go in there and see if you can survive it, you know? Yeah. So anyways, it's really interesting, and also they add physics, 
where it, it, it makes a difference. So like you have uh, a torchlight or something, but when you kill a guy, you know, it disappears or something. But this one, they have a lot of that kind of ragdoll stuff. So, you know, we got some really interesting things when we were playing it, like, happen. You know, like, guys fly all over the place. And, and it's so, funny, so something so simple can add a kind of texture layer to that kind of a game. Mm -hmm. So, I think the potential for them to do some, you know, they got to nail some stuff. Because they're going to integrate with Facebook, too. And there's a lot of really kind of fun social stuff they're doing with that game. So, so I'm, you, I'm, I'm skeptical, but I'm excited. Are you digging the PS Vita, then? Right, well, that's the first game that I played there that felt like it used a lot of that kind of GPS stuff and right. um, online stuff, so I'm interested. The, the last game that I'll say that was a, of note was Wipeout 2048, um, because I'd kind of given up on Wipeout. Like, uh, it's just, it's so difficult at times, and like, you know, like, let me, let me explain why I like the PS Vita version. The PS Vita version, again, it's just because it's a good game, they widen the tracks. So what, the, by, what they did by that is they gave it much more rain, more kind of like, I can go over here and go over here. And then what's interesting is you can play the PS Vita version of, of Wipeout 2048 and then play with someone who's playing on PlayStation 3, which is that kind of functionality stuff they're doing. But what's weird is that when you play uh, on PS3, you can only play these old tracks, and the old tracks are really small. Mm -hmm. And so I realized that I liked a Wipeout game when the tracks are wider. So you're you not, don't have to bump into you're the not sides bumping, and yeah. slow down. Instead of fighting, you're, you're playing against your, the, your friends or whatever. You're not playing against the track, you know? And so I was, like, totally having fun with playing just the PS Vita version of 2048. So that being said, like, the first game I talked about, um, Escape Plan and Wipeout 2048 are good games. So I'm excited to play them. But they don't make me excited for Vita. Mm -hmm. I think Ruin, if they do it right, could make me excited for that, for the platform. Because it's using more of the platform stuff. Yeah, right? and then I mean, there's a lot of really social, com like Facebook integration. It'd just be really interesting to see what they do. I'm sorry I missed that event. I was supposed to go with you to the preview yeah, event. Yeah, thanks. The, the PR girl gave me, gave me some crap for it as well. But well, I, I'm giving you crap right now, too. Yeah, I had some work emergencies, but yeah, it's, it's I mean, I, I'm curious to see how it'll do because I, I just, it just seems like it's in a tough, tough market. Yeah. You know, with the iPhone, uh, with Windows phones, and well, all with those. the changing market. You yeah. know, smartphones coming into that space now. So, yeah. so let's talk but about. I'm, oh. I'm glad though they they moved on to that instead of hanging on with the PSP Go. Or, oh, right, yeah, yeah, or PSP 4000 or something. Yeah. Um, let's talk about real quickly um, games that are coming out before the end of the year. There, a lot of the big ones have already come out. Um, and so there's a few left that I'm kind of interested in having before Christmas, maybe Christmas present. Um, first one is Mario Kart 7. And it's just so weird that they're calling it Mario Kart 7. Let's talk about that for I a know. second. Yeah, yeah. None of them are numbered. Except Mario Party, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but the kart games are not numbered. So, but I'm excited because I played that at E3 and they did a lot of fun stuff with, we can talk about that now, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the, you know, the airplane kind of thing, mm -hmm. the, in the air, underwater, just really kind of interesting, you know, little pieces to add to it. And I love Mario Kart, so. Is it me or did it, does it remind you of, like, Diddy Kart, kart Racing? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. 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 Diddy Kong Racing? Diddy Kong, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of excited to have that for Christmas. Still yeah, uh, we got our copy, but I, I sent it off. I'm, I'm like, I don't know, I'm kind of over Mario Kart. You know, it's always, it's like a solid, safe experience, you know? Yeah. You're going to break it out, it'll be fine. But, like, that to me, Mario Kart's a multiplayer experience, and it's it's great. I think it's great for, like, younger kids. Like, if you could have four people have DSs, they get out, they're all hanging out. Oh, yeah. It just, in, for my lifestyle, adult yeah. lifestyle, it doesn't, that doesn't happen right now. It doesn't fit in, yeah. I don't have, I never will be around more than one person with a DS at a time for us to play multiplayer Mario Kart. That's a great segue. I was going to say a couple of memories of why I like Mario Kart, kind of just a warm, cheery, almost from the last episode, warm, cheery moments, is that where it does work, and some of the people watching the show might be doing this profession, game testers. So we were, game, I was a game tester at some point, and we all had DSs, and Mario Kart, you know, came out. And so immediately everyone gets it because we know we want to play each other. Yeah, yeah. And so then that worked. Like, you know, at lunch we all got together in a little thing. We're like, okay, let's play. And it totally made sense. Mm -hmm. And also, I took it home, and then that was when the first one they did the, uh, the online stuff. And they just match made you with anybody. And I was, like, playing some kid from Japan and whatever. And it was fun, that kind of, like, online experience. You yeah, know, I, play, I play Double Dash online. I'm just like, it's kind of empty and shallow to me like I'd rather be in a room because yeah, yeah, yeah. you're that yelling and screaming yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like talking trash yeah when you when you could play Mario Kart together with people that's it's best and I, I I'm not saying Mario Kart 7 is no good I'm just saying I, I'm never gonna play 
Because you're not that setting, but the other yeah. people who are, you know, who yeah, have I'm sure they'll love it. Setting. Yeah, yeah. Like what you described that if I had a group of video friends, video game testers all, all around the world would yeah. be hurraying. Okay, so what what else? Are, what are you excited about that's coming out? Well, it, so we looked at the list of games that aren't out yet, right? As of this recording, right before Small Thanksgiving. Small list. Tiny list, uh, and kind of sad. <laughs> like all the good games are out. Yeah. Uh, the big game that's left on a table is uh, the Old Republic, Star Old Wars Republic. The Old Republic. Yeah. So. And you're not even excited about it, really. I'm not a big MMO guy, and part of that is because I have a really addictive gaming personality. Like I know, oh, I, yeah. think I, I tried sense. Star Wars Galaxies, and I was glad to not like it because I didn't want to get addicted. I actually purposely stayed away from WoW because I don't. I was going to ask. We never talk about WoW. I, yeah. I don't. I purposely stay away from it because I know how bad it'll get for me. I don't. I just don't have time for it. Oh, the Old Republic, I was kind of excited for, but I'm just like, you know, it's. I don't know. I. I Bioware obviously has done a good job with with past RPGs, mm -hmm. right? With Mass Effect, with the original Knights of the Old Republic, great stuff. Um, in an MMO environment, I, I don't. Everything I've seen from it, it's like it looks okay. Yeah, you know, it just doesn't look that exciting. It looks kind of not. I don't want to say generic. It does a little it's bit. Bioware, yeah. It, it does a little bit. Um, but the the other thing is, I think they keep misrepresenting it. Like all those videos they keep showing, all those trailers, make it look much more exciting. And yeah, it, yeah. And so my expectations, like every E3, there's like, they show this awesome action-packed, like epic uh, like yeah. battle, epic trailer, these battles yeah. and these trailers. And then you go into the game and it's just like, it's very MMO, right? It's well, like, And that's also what you said, is that because you've, been, you've seen it multiple years, you're like, you're waiting for this thing. And you're like, oh, and that, and that expectation goes up more. Yeah. Like Duke Nukem, hello, which... I wasn't actually excited about, but um, which Duke Nukem is ten dollars on sale, by the way, like right now. I think forever. Duke Nukem I, well, forever? it was a Black Friday sale we saw, but um, so yeah. Oh no, I thought you meant forever. Like if forever, it's gonna be ten dollars. <laughs> it should be. Yeah. So I'm I'm with you on that. Like I mean, I'm really interested to see. I mean, I'll probably just play it and see the account and you know try it out. But I'm not like really excited. And plus, I'm over Star Wars. I know that's going to get me a million pieces of you know email, maybe. But I'm really over Star Wars. No, no, it's, I think that's a. Is it valid? That's the, that's the most reasonable thing you've said all day. <laughs> that makes me feel bad about all the other things I said. <laughs> You're a terrible person. Everything else, crazy. I'm going to say that I'm kind of, and this is something that already came out, but I'm kind of excited to pick up for myself or have someone else pick up for me uh, Saints Row because I heard some really interesting things about it. I was listening to. Uh, not Weekend Confirmed, but uh, Rebel FM, I think. They were talking about how there's a really cool uh, leveling up system in that game where you get a lot right away, which makes it fun. You know, you don't have to, like, grind too much. But then you keep building things, almost like factions or, like, mm -hmm. little sections of the city, and you upgrade your troops. And you know, it's almost like, I don't want to say real-time strategy, but it feels like you upgrade a lot of fun stuff mm -hmm. and make you feel really badass, you know? Um, and I don't think I want to play any of those, like, missions that are really ridiculous, like... I'm on a toilet and I'm on fire or something, which <laughs> is in the game, I think, something like that. But I, I think I will try to avoid those missions and have fun with the, the kind of the gang yeah. stuff that's going on there. I'm really Saint, excited to play Saints Row, I think, is one of the more underrated series. You know, it's always been solid. It got solid reviews, but it, they're a lot of fun. Uh, the first one got a lot of crap for it being too much like GTA, you know, because they wanted to be like right, GTA. Right, 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 right. Uh, but it was good in its own right. But Saints Row 2 really kind of like, all right, we're just going to go a little bit crazier. And, and Saints Row 3, it's like, we don't we don't care anymore. We're just going to be yeah. completely ridiculous. But he, Saints Row 2, you know, they had missions where you're like in this giant septic truck, you yeah. know, spraying crap, like, yeah. like, crap human feces yeah. on walls and stuff. And oh, not the other kind of crap? <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> actually human feces crap, crap. Like yeah. literal crap yeah. on, on like buildings to lower real estate value and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. It just got crazy and it's it's a lot of fun as a co-op game. And then you just you just go nuts and you just do silly things. And yeah. It's fun to do in an open world environment. And yeah, that's on my list too. Saints Row the Third. The uh, Stocking it's like, stuffer. It's like a game I want to play. I just right now it's kind of busy with Skyrim and Modern oh, Warfare. Yeah, 3, I have but, no time. Yeah, but I, I definitely want that. Skyrim's it, actually. Um, someone in the chat room said they went through three PSPs and never took them anywhere. So <laughs> just that's, like you. I know. I, I feel you. It was weird, um, but I have hope for the PS Vita. I have hope. Um, I'm also going to say that I realized two things are coming out. Um, one, Voltron: Defenders of the Universe is an XBLA game. Oh, that's coming out soon? It's, it's already in the marketplace. As of this taping, it's in the marketplace without a download link. You hate when they do that. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. Maybe I get some special... Pro I don't know. But I, I saw it last night, and it's there, but you can't do anything. You can only like uh, buy DLC. <laughs> 
But guess what? I did. I'm that excited. I bought a Voltron shirt for my avatar. Really? It was 80 points or whatever. But like, I'm that excited. Voltron, are you kidding me? Everybody there? Hello? Everybody in the room? Yeah. It's, uh, I'm jazzed. There's a lot of great licenses that turn out I to know, be really but I looked at some of the, I like... looked at some of the early stuff. It looks interesting enough to not be effed up. Mm-hmm. So really excited about that. That's a Christmas thing to myself I'll give. And then also just for fun, uh, Oregon Trail is coming out for the Wii. We have a Wii at the house, you know, it just collects dust. But Oregon Trail from the old days, it'd be fun to see what they do. It's like they're going to make it like Harvest Moon or something. There have been a million Harvest or uh, Oregon Trail uh, updates, though. Yeah, there's been a million. Well, there have been some for the smartphones, I think, recently. Smartphones, but this PC. Is like a 3D, this is a 3D kind yeah. of adventure thing. And like, yeah. you know, getting dysentery on my Wii, I'll do that. It'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I love the classic game, but yeah, yeah. It's just if you want to play it, you don't have to wait for this. One. There's, there's I know. Been I a, there have been there. a lot of them. There's been some. Yeah. Um, are you? You're old enough to play. You've played the originals, and I'm older than you. Yeah. You're yeah. older than me. I'm really? pretty sure I am. I'm 26. You're not 26. <laughs> <laughs> so that means you're. Uh, that's gonna do it for the show. Anything else you want to pimp before we leave? Uh, I got to get around to Batman, which I know is crazy. Oh like, yeah, yeah. I can't. But just sitting there, I just haven't had time. Skyrim. Uh, it's just Skyrim. All yeah, the time. I, I lent out my copy of Batman to someone else, uh, so I could get to like Skyrim and stuff like that. Yeah, but, but it's almost like you need to do Batman first because then I you can finish. Uh, you know, I had to play Skyrim for the show because we oh, had to that's talk about. Right. If it weren't for the show, I would have played Batman first because that's easier to finish. If you're out there and listening in the audience and you're buying presents and whatever. Um, if you don't want to see the loved one that you're buying the present for, don't buy him Skyrim. Wait, yeah. did I say that right? If you if you <laughs> expect them to be gone forever, wouldn't you buy them that? So if you want to keep them around, just buy them Batman Arkham City and they'll still like it. And then they'll actually beat it and be yeah. done with it. Skyrim, we, we could probably play for another six, eight months. Years. Yeah, years maybe. And then uh, we mentioned last show, you need to play Uncharted. I'm going to play Uncharted. Uh, I, I probably have already played Uncharted when this airs. Good. So it was great. Guys, I can't believe... I, what am I missing this whole time? It's, uh, you, you need to play. That was a fake version. I haven't met playing it. As yeah, you haven't played it. Play it. Don't worry okay. about, don't worry about multi- multiplayer. Multiplayer is actually really good. Uh, in, no in, in, Unch- in Uncharted 2. Don't worry about it. Play, play single player. It's great. great. Okay, that's it for the show. You want to say it? Game over. <laughs>